workers need in the contract? Everything. Everything uh -huh. back. Mm -hmm. Everything. Cost of living? Everything. We've lost too much. Cost of living, pension, bring it all back. Don't get me wrong. I think 30 some dollars an hour is good back then. But now, you can't even go to the grocery store. You, I, my kids is grown, and I'm in there. Me and my grandbabies, I spend almost $300. They, little kids, you know, the biggest one is 14. But yeah, cost of living. Say again, brother. Money. What's inflation doing to you? Uh, making it hard to live, honestly. We need more money. Give us all our things that we lost. We want them back. Like cost of living? Cost of living, pension. We need that back. Pandemic. The pandemic showed us how we was appreciated. They didn't appreciate us enough to see all the work that we did working during, during the pandemic as if we were essential workers and we didn't receive no more money. Money to match the cost of living, not McDonald's money for these new people, you know? Right. People are just not happy anymore, uh, happy anymore because of uh, everything that's going on and inflation and everything else is ridiculous. And it takes a whole lot of money to, and I don't know how the people with families and kids are making it today. I just don't, so. Yeah, we're working 12 hour days. We're away from our families. We're missing baseball games, sports, and, and uh, not able to spend the time and uh, raise the families. Um, that's, that's pretty much why the eight hour day was epic. And hopefully we would get that back again. I, I just think that it's odd that right before the contract, they're, they're rolling these roving layoffs with the different shifts and they're saying low on parts or whatever. I mean, it just, is it a coincidence or are they trying to just make the workers take whatever they put on the table because they haven't been working? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it makes mm -hmm. you think. Mm -hmm. The uh, UAWD formed the uh, the rank and file are pretty much like you said they've been replaced by new faces not all of them but here we're feeling in Chicago we're feeling that we're gonna get stuck with another contract that nobody wants I mean we've voted every contract down that since I've been here the, uh, seven years but I, I would like to see everybody get a pay raise, at least 20%, to catch up with gas and, and yeah, cost of living is just... 9% less to inflation. Yeah, at, at, that's what they're telling us, but it's probably more. Yes. So right. we are falling way behind and then, uh, yeah. And also the, the Biden administration is spending all of these resources in backing up the war against He's Russia a Biden guy. I don't know. He, well, I'm not a Biden guy. I'm just not a Trump guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> and so both of them want wars. Yeah. And both of them, you know, they want to divert the anger workers have from who's That's really exploiting. What's really important here. Right. They want to push it uh, uh, overseas and get us worried about and and they're masters at it. That's what they've been doing for years. And why why change what works if that's what the government's doing? Well, people are starting to get hip to it. <laughs> yeah, they are getting hip to it because guys on here on like social media. Right. Hopefully, we can uh, right enlighten some people. So. What do you think about the struggles of the actors who just went out on strike last week, and the UPS workers who were want to fight and the port workers in Canada who went out on strike. This is happening all over. Inflation is worldwide. Right. In you know. France, everybody's, in, you know, I think it's our turn to, to stand up and get vocal. Yeah, well, 